It's time for another Dice Tower Review with John Richard. Howdy gamers, greetings from Indianapolis, Indiana, the gaming capital of the world. It's time for another board game review with me, Indiana John. Today we're taking a look at Camel Up by Stefan Boggan and distributed by Z-Man Games. This is the winner of the 2014 Spiel des Jahres Award, which is the uh, German award for game of the year. And it is a racing game, but it falls into that smaller category that I like to call racing games that make no thematic sense. Because it's racing, and you're racing camels, which, uh, that's a little bit strange, but you know, camels, I can understand that. But the camels stack on top of one another, which is a little bit strange. And you know, you're rolling dice to move the camels. I love rolling dice, but you don't roll the dice in your hands, you throw them into a cardboard pyramid and shake them up, and then use a spring-loaded mechanism to release a die. Sounds a little bit strange. Sounds maybe a little bit gimmicky. But let's take a look at the setup and gameplay of Camel Up and see if we can answer the most important question in gaming, which is, is it fun? The first thing that has to be done when you initially open the box to Camel Up is the assembly of the dice pyramid. The rulebook includes a relatively convoluted 12-step process for doing this, but it's actually pretty easy to put together. Once the pyramid is assembled, place it on its space on the board. Sort the stacks of bidding tiles in order from highest to lowest value and place them in their spaces on the board, along with the five pyramid tiles. Each player will get a hand of five race betting cards and the corresponding desert tile with their character's picture on it. They will also get three coins. Finally, give the start player token to the youngest player and have them roll the five colored dice. These dice are specially numbered with two ones, two twos, and two threes. Place the camels on the spaces that correspond with the numbers on the dice. This will be where the camels start the race. If more than one camel is on the same space, stack them up. The order doesn't matter during the game setup, although it will later on in the game. Finally, place all the dice into the pyramid by sliding the spring-loaded slider to open the pyramid up. The entire game is a one lap race that's made up of several legs. A leg is complete when all camels have the opportunity to move one time. On your turn, you can choose from one of four actions. You can choose to take a pyramid tile and move a camel. Each pyramid tile will be worth one coin at the end of the leg. Then take the pyramid, give it a shake, and place it upside down on the board. Then push the slider all the way forward and then release. This should cause one of the dice to drop out of the pyramid. Then lift the pyramid to reveal the die. Move the appropriate camel that number of spaces. If the camel is part of a stack of camels, it will carry with it all of the camels that are on top of it. And the race order of camels on the same space is always top to bottom. So in this example, the green camel is in first place because it's on the top of the stack. Number two, you may place your desert tile. This tile may be placed on any space where there are no camels, but it may not be placed on the first space, and it must not be placed directly adjacent to another desert tile. Now, this is a two-sided tile. On one side is an oasis. If a camel or stack of camels finishes their movement on this tile, it will immediately move forward an additional space. The other side of this tile is a mirage. If a camel or stack of camels finishes their movement on this tile, it will move back one space. In each case, the owner of the desert tile will get a coin when a camel ends its movement on their tile. Number three, you may select a bidding tile. By selecting a tile, you're betting that this color camel will end the current leg of the race in either first or second place. If they end up in first place, you'll get the larger amount of money shown on the tile. If the camel ends up in second place, you'll get one coin. But if the camel ends up in any other position, you must pay one coin to the bank. You may have more than one tile of a particular color, but you can only get one per turn. Finally, you can make a bet on the winner and loser of the race. This action involves your hand of race bidding cards. Here you're betting on which camel you think will finish the entire race in either first place or last place. You select a card and place it face down on the appropriate space. These cards will be scored at the end of the game. 
The game will continue until all five camels have had an opportunity to move once, and that will be the end of the leg. Then we'll perform a brief leg scoring where you will either receive money or pay money based upon your bidding tiles. You'll receive money for your pyramid tiles. Then all of those are put back onto the board, all of the dice are put back into the pyramid, and any oasis tiles that were placed onto the board are returned to their owner. Then a new leg begins. The game will end immediately when one camel or stack of camels crosses the finish line. Then you'll perform one final leg scoring to take care of any pyramid tiles or bidding tiles that were taken during that round. Uh, then you'll perform final scoring. The stacks of cards that were played on the winner space are then turned over so that the bottom card of the stack, which is the card that was played first, is now on top. The first player in the stack of cards who chose the correct camel will get eight coins. The second player will get five coins, and so on, as depicted on the board. For each card in the stack that shows a camel other than the winner, the owner has to pay one coin to the bank. You'll then do the same scoring for the overall loser stack. Then all players will count their coins, and the player with the most money is the winner. So that is Camel Up. So what do I think of this game? Well, first let's talk about the fact that it won the 2014 Spiel des Jahres this year. Now, every time that the nominees for the Spiel des Jahres are announced, the same thing sort of happens on the board gaming internet. There begins a whole huge discussion about um, one game versus another and which one should win the award. And really, the, um, the discussion ends up boiling down to not so much a discussion of game versus game, but it almost ends up being a question of what is the criteria for the Spiel des Jahres to begin with? And so you'll have one game that might have great elegant mechanics and people will say that one should win. Then on the other hand, you'll say, you'll have people who say, well, here's another game that doesn't have elegant mechanics, but it sure is a lot more fun than the elegant mechanic game. And so the discussion continues and we go round and round and no one ever comes to a consensus. They choose a winner. We set the games aside and we move on and we do it all again the next year. So that sort of happened this year with Camel Up, which was the winner and beat out a very good game called Splendor, which a lot of people said had more elegant mechanics mechanics. And that very well may be the case. But I'm going to tell you that for families, and especially families with children, I think Camel Up is the definite winner. And here's why. Uh, it's got a lot of things going for it uh, for children. One is, of course, the cartoony artwork and the gimmick of the pyramid. I mean, that's a fun thing, a fun tactile thing for children to be able to use and to enjoy. Um, but I think one of the biggest things that perhaps is overlooked is the fact that this is a gambling game, but it's a very low-risk gambling game. So um, children especially, or less strategic gamers, can make bidding decisions um, and they could possibly earn up to five or eight coins. If you take one of those uh, tiles for bidding uh, during the round, you could win up to five coins. But if you're wrong, then you're only going to lose one coin. Really, with any bid you make in this game, the worst that you're going to do is lose one coin per decision that you're making. Plus, there's other ways that you can get money in the games. Uh, again, the game like taking the uh, pyramid cards to move the camels or placing one of those oasis tiles that uh, might be landed on and you can get a coin that way. Um, and then the rolling of the dice is an interesting thing as well because for, again, less strategic gamers or perhaps children, um, just rolling the dice and shaking the pyramid is a really fun thing to do. And so they might select the card just to be able to do that. But for a more strategically minded gamer, uh, selecting the uh, pyramid card to roll the dice and to move the camel gives you more information to be able to make a better choice when you do your bidding. So there's a couple of layers here. I'm not going to say that this is the deepest, most strategic game in the world because it's not. It's very lucky. It's very random. And for someone who's looking for a deep strategic experience, you're not going to find it in this game. But for something that you can set up quickly, teach quickly, uh, it uh, handles up to eight players. I've only played it with up to six, so I'm not sure how it would handle with eight. But um, with up to six players, it works very, very well. And it's something that I think the whole family can enjoy. You can bring it out with non-gamers, and I think they will enjoy it as well. So, you know, the, the debate will continue over what game is really worthy of the Game of the Year title. Uh, but for my money for 2014, I think that Camel Up was a pretty good choice. So that is Camel Up from Z-Man Games and Stefan Boggan. Good game. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. 
cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com. <laughs>